Good morning, y'all. It's Sunday morning. I'm Rachel and I'm gardening for myself and butterflies on the Alabama Gulf Coast in zone 9A. And it's a gorgeous morning. It is October 13th. The uh, temperature right now is 66 degrees. So it feels amazing. And um, I'm so grateful that everyone I know in Florida is okay. And uh, these hurricanes, I'm, I'm hoping that uh, Milton was the last of the hurricanes for this season. Um, it's been a devastating hurricane season. Um, and uh, I've just been praying for everybody who's been devastated by it. Um, but, uh, and I feel, I have survivor's guilt because um, we haven't suffered here in Orange Beach from a hurricane this year. But, um, but I'm gonna show y'all some things that are going on in the garden. So come along with me. The salvia leucantha is just kind of growing crazy and scraggly, but I'm leaving it because every time I come out here, there are all kinds of bumblebees on it. So it's still being um, useful. Um, and I have a sweet little volunteer zinnia coming up right here. I'm really excited about that. I hope that the armadillo leaves it alone. Things are looking pretty good out here in the front because I planted them, planted them not too long ago and arranged them. I'm just so amazed by the roses. This is Desdemona, so lovely. I need to trim this stuff back. But um, yeah, this is just a late season garden. Um, even the uh, up there, the James Galloways are blooming and I keep meaning to come out here and get a ladder and go up there and trim stuff and I just don't do it. Um, I'm really liking these silvery things right here. And uh, so I pulled out a bunch of dead stuff yesterday and I'm liking this so much better. I've got several containers that need to have something done with them. I may just wait to replant them next year. The um, Diamond Frost Euphorbia and this licorice plant, silvery fun, white goodness. That licorice plant has just grown like gangbusters. This is the container and it had grown up into one of the um, coleus and then when I had to cut the coleus back, it just flopped over onto the ground. Look how massive that is. Just lovely silvery, look, and it's grown up here into this penta I had no idea it could grow so crazy. Um, the Gumfrina, sweet potato vine, just really still kicking it. And uh, Salvia Lucantha. Wow, y'all, Salvia, just Salvia for the win. <laughs> I say that all the time, but I can't help it. It really is, and Coleus. I love this bright Coleus here. cleaned out the fountain yesterday. It's looking way better. And then I had to start cutting things back in this back section. And look at this. Um, I think this is a, this is a cassia. Look, it's almost tree sized. And I think this is the one that can't tolerate frost. So it will probably freeze down to the ground. But don't you love just the color kind of gray green and this is that kind that um, it smells like popcorn when you rub it and I haven't seen any caterpillars on it for the um, I think it was cassia flower but these little things right here are supposed to grow shrub size but they've been kind of overgrown by the salvia so also so excited about this cleome from a seed from a seed just volunteer can't wait for that to bloom. This lemongrass is one that I dug up as a seedling from the front yard and planted it in the ground. And look how massive and thick it is. And then I grew, I planted some other ones and I had them in pots along the, the edge of the fence and they're not as healthy or happy. So I think next year I'm just gonna plant lemongrass right here at the base of the fence all across it not in pots and let it grow. I guess I should give them, I don't know, three feet a piece, I mean, uh, space, because you can't see through that. And that's a great um, 
fast growing kind of um, privacy fence like thing. The butterflies are still loving the garden. They're not out at the moment. I got a little bit of a video of them yesterday, but there's a lot of cleanup that needs to be done. Um, I'm so thankful for this color though still. Um, it's still enjoyable and uh, there's a lot of things that are still blooming. Here's something exciting. My husband is putting hardy board on the potting shed. Uh, he's gonna do it just like the garage and he put new windows in. I know this is a mess. It's still, it, even though it's cooler out here, it was still too hot yesterday to be in here to clean anything. So this is still a gross mess. But I'm, I'm really excited about this looking a lot more just pretty and it's gonna be sturdy. Uh, and he's putting hardy board. He's still in the process of putting it on this side too. Um, yeah. He's gonna put like that tan uh, metal trim like this on the potting shed. It's gonna look like this. And I haven't shown you, this is the arrow wood viburnum right here, this very, very tall thing. And in its shadow is this Florida sunshine. And it's um, supposed to grow like a shrub, like those two other ones that I showed you. And then this is a pineapple guava. And I've seen a pineapple guava tree grow 30 feet tall. So this thing might get out of control, but uh, I planted all this stuff here. So it would just kind of be a natural uh, privacy area. It hasn't gotten thick yet. I'm so surprised that these Snapdragon are blooming again and that they've made it. But look, they've grown really long and scraggly, but isn't that surprising? Because I grew those um, from seed in the spring and they've just kind of made it and they're re-blooming. I haven't shown y'all the, um, the coconut that I'm, it says it was, it will take like four months for it to sprout. So I planted it in this pot and then a little Thai basil um, volunteered in there and then a little wishbone flower. So it's turned into a little coconut um, garden. It looks dull and just not very appealing, but this whole thing right here is one salvia amistad. And I'll poke in to the inside of it so you can see how, uh, like, like, look, look in there. It needs to be cut back. And this is one that grew back that I've had planted for several years. So, uh, but every time I come out here, something is drinking from it. I don't want to take that away from them yet, so I'm leaving it for a little while longer. Oh my goodness, I just came over here to take a picture of this and I just noticed something. I can't believe I didn't see it when I walked past here the first time. Look at what is blooming, shockingly. Look at that. I That is so unexpected and gorgeous. I haven't talked much about this clematis because it seemed like it was just not gonna make it. But um, here is this gorgeous, gorgeous bloom. And I'll show you just what it looks like on the lattice or on the rose arbor. You can see just brown and icky. I mean, it just doesn't look healthy and happy. And yet here is this, what a, what a gift, what a miracle. I just found something else too. This thing right here, this Mujin T Nashja and whatever, I can't pronounce it. But I'm gonna show you something cool about it. Look at the teeny tiniest little, little flowers that are on this thing. They're so precious. And this is that sparkly, sparkly plant that I still haven't made tea from. I keep promising that I will and I haven't yet, but it smells really cool. And I got it from mm, uh, Petals from the Past. It has a really interesting scent to it. Oh, but wow, tiny, tiny little flowers on it. There are just so many treasures to be found. While I'm right here, I will just look down, straight down on this and show you all these colors together from up above. I'm really enjoying them. I can't tell you the name of that. I mean, I have it, but I, I don't know how to say it. 
but uh, it's turned out so well and it was only a dollar, a dollar per plant at um, um, Home Depot. Oh, here is that um, golden agastache and I cut it down and it's grown back again. And this is that one that I started from seed and it took forever, but uh, it's looking great now and it smells really great too. It's got a great kind of minty scent to it. Isn't it pretty? You just have to cut back the dead stuff. Deanna, <clears throat> these are the coleus in here that I'm going to try to save and overwinter like you did last year. I'm gonna cut them back because look, they're just tall and scraggly, but I'm gonna put them in the potting shed and try to overwinter them so I can have a jump on spring. But yeah, because this, this is starting to look, ooh, yeah, it's been out of control for a while. I'm about to share a short little video that my daughter um, shot. Uh, she was driving in Pensacola and she saw an albino squirrel on the side of the road and she came to a screeching halt and videoed it. It's not in the same, uh, uh, I, th I think it's in the portrait mode rather than landscape, but it's just too cool. I gotta share it with you. she wants you to think that she doesn't look hungry. Lefty is enjoying the sunshine today. Oops y'all, look, I uh, accidentally knocked a praying mantis onto my pants and they're acting like everything's normal but um, I'm afraid to say everything is not normal. I'm going to have to put this praying mantis somewhere without it jumping onto my face. Wish me luck. Okay, here we go. We're just gonna, we're just gonna get close to the, no, don't go up the pants. Don't, please, for the love of God, get on the, no! <laughs> okay, that didn't go well. <laughs> But I think I'm gonna let this praying mantis go and find its own um, place that it wants to be uh, rather than me trying to put it on the pomegranate tree. There's a buckeye and a long-tailed skipper right here on these flowers at the beach. Place that they built in Orange Beach on the beach. It's a restaurant called Coastal. And then there's a beach area and there are benches and they've got these flowers right here that are native. I mean, I think they're native. I mean, they just look so impressive and, and happy here. Surely they're native, but there are all kinds of fuzzy little butterflies over here. And then the sun came out and now you can see this is the area and you can see there's some big waves there's a lot of stuff churning in the gulf right now and right here we've got this amazing view of butterflies and flowers and the gulf of mexico it's very very inspiring when we first came out here there was a little bit of a rain shower and all the butterflies must have gone somewhere but the sun just came back out and now these flowers are covered in little butterflies i did not know that i had been missing out on all this butterfly action all this time but now oh there's a buckeye oh
garden is just looking so lovely in this bright, bright sun. I came out here and I didn't expect to, for it to just be so pretty. And I saw over here a really pretty butterfly, a buckeye, and I'm hoping I can find it for you. Because I saw a buckeye the other day when we went to the beach, and then just now I saw one. There are a lot of butterflies. There are long-tailed uh, skippers and golf fritillaries. Let me see if I can sneak up on one. I just saw it over here. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Let's see if I can get in close, close. Oh, you see? You see that long-tailed skipper right there? Let's see if I can get close for you to see it. Isn't it cute? Yes, there are long-tailed skippers all over the place. Ooh, and now I see the buckeye. And of course, it's way, way over there. Oh, where'd it go? Oh, yes, yes, it's on. Okay. I just don't even think this would be a garden without the gumfrina and the sweet potato vine everywhere and the salvia leucantha blooming so purple and beautiful. Thank y'all so much for coming with me uh, through my garden today. And I'm just so thankful for you all. I'm so thankful that gardeners are undaunted. I mean, we are not to be stopped. It doesn't matter what happens. We are gonna grow, grow, grow. So y'all, let's just, let's just thank God for all of he, the things that he's done for us. And let's play outside. And uh, God bless y'all, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.